So once we have our Anderson Darling test statistic, we can use that to calculate the p-value. We can take our piecewise function, where p equals each of these lines is a different function based on what the AD star value is. So AD star is our modified Anderson Darling test statistic. We calculate that using the equation on the bottom here. This one right down here. AD star equals the Anderson Darling test statistic times 1 plus 0 0.75 over n plus 2.25 over n squared. Again, n is the number of samples. Okay, so let's go back up. We have our AD star. Now we can plug this into the piecewise function. So if the AD star is greater than or equal to 0.6, we use that top function, plugging in the AD star in each of those sections. If the AD star is, le is greater than or equal to 0.34, but less than 0.06, then we use the second function here, again replacing our value for AD. If we have a value of AD star that is greater than 0.2 but less than 0.34, we use this equation. Now, I, I'm not going to read these all out because it's just a lot of constants and exponents. So again, AD star less than or equal to 0.2, we use the last function. Okay, so that's how we would calculate the p-value. And then we would use the output of this function to compare with our critical value and determine whether or not we reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject. Again, speaking as an engineer, whether we can assume the data follow the specified distribution or we cannot assume.